what's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome to today's episode of Call of Duty Ghosts Maps Exposed. The series where I cover all of the lines of sight, jumps, spots, as well as dynamic map elements on every one of the maps in Call of Duty Ghosts. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the map Freight. And for those Team Art fans that are going to say that I'm copying him and everything with this video, since he did get his Freight jumps and spots up first, I'm covering every map in this game for this series, and there is bound to be some overlap with other YouTubers. Also, I go way more in depth with this series than Tmart does with his Jumps and Spots series, so there will be a ton of spots that he either missed or that don't really apply to his series because they're more lines of sight or something like that, so I'm going to make this video with the assumption that you haven't seen Tmart's video, which I'm sure a lot of you guys haven't. And if you have, I'm sorry, but there will be a little bit of overlap. But keep in mind, there are a bunch of spots that are very useful that Tmart didn't have in his video. Sorry about that big disclaimer, but it is needed because I often get accused of copying bigger YouTubers with this series, even when my video was out before theirs, which makes absolutely no sense at all. I just feel the need to defend myself with this. Alright, so let's get into it. First up, as always, we're going to cover Domination Capture Spots. For the C flag on this map, it's wide open and you don't really have any real capture spots for this. Your best bet is just to fight it out. As for the B flag, I actually have quite a few pretty cool spots on this to capture from. The most obvious spot, and the spot that I'll use most often, is by standing right next to this, uh, sort of the wheel of the train here. If you lay down, yeah, you can fight back a little bit, but you're also exposing more of yourself than you need to. If you stand there, all they can see is maybe a little portion of your foot, but even that is pretty tough to see. When you're laying down, your whole body is kind of exposed under the tire, and people have gotten to the point where they they know where to look there and they'll take you out. So if you're standing, you have a much lower profile on the bottom there. And it's a great place to capture from both sides there. Now another spot that uh, I thought was pretty cool, but you will require a smoke grenade for this for sure, is you can actually hop up on here and you can capture from all the way on top of this train here. But like I said, you need a smoke grenade for this because otherwise you're just extremely out in the open and you'll just, you'll just get picked off instantly. Now moving on to the A flag, as you can see it's also quite open just like the C flag, but you do have a little bit more cover you can push up right next to the orange thing here, and uh, that's your best bet right there. Okay so with this map there are quite a few dynamic elements, so I'm going to just show you guys all at once at the beginning here rather than showing them as I go around the map. So the first one right here, this is actually one that Tmart missed in his video, is you can actually shoot this or knife it if you're in the inside and you can jump in that way. And that's the first way up into this uh, second story here. This is the second way. And another way is to come all the way around over here. And it's pretty straightforward. You can just jump across into that window. Now there is a way to jump into the other window, but I'm going to show you guys that a little bit later on. So now I'm going to show you all the dynamic doors on this map because there are quite a few of them. So the first one is right here on the bottom story of this building. There's a switch on the inside here. And then there's also a switch right on the outside right here. So in the building right next door, there's a button right here to open or close this door, this sort of secret door right here. Another one that a lot of people aren't aware of is up here. This operates the same thing. So that'll open or close it. And then the last one is obviously just on the other side right here. As you come underground here, you can actually knife or shoot this gate to open it. And you can do it from either side. At the front of this building here, there's a switch right there. And this will open or close this door. And then there's also one just on the inside. Moving on to the building right next door, there's a switch right here to open or close this door, and just like with the last one, there's one just on the other side. And finally, you can open or close this door with this switch here, and then there's also one right on the inside to the left there, as you can see. Alright, and on this same building is the last dynamic map element, and that is this ladder right here. All you have to do is shoot it, and it'll drop down, and then you can use it. Alright, so now let's start our spots at the C flag, and we'll just work our way around the map from here. From right up here on top of the stack of lumber, you actually get a really nice line of sight across here, and it's also a bit of a head glitch, so you're going to be really hard to shoot out of this position, but I wouldn't camp there for too long. Okay, before we get into this building here where a ton of the spots are, you can actually jump on top of these blue barrels to check over top of the dumpster and maybe get a kill on somebody that's coming across there, and they won't really expect you. Just keep in mind that you are really exposed on this right side. Alright, so now let's get into this building with all the jumps and spots and everything in here that everyone loves. So you can jump up here, and then on top of this, and then you're on top of the roof here. And a lot of people didn't know about this before Tmart's video, but it can be a somewhat useful spot if you want to snipe on this map. 
Uh, another spot that he didn't point out in his video is you can actually jump on top of this thing right here and then just edge your way over and you can actually lean around this wall and get a line of sight towards the sea flag. It's not really the most useful spot. I just thought it was pretty cool to point out and maybe you guys will use it for a kill or two. Another thing you can do in this building is you can jump from this window across to the other one. And then you can do the same thing back the other way. There's also this little ledge right here that you can use. It's a really situation dependent type of thing, but you may want to use it in some situations. Now for one of my favorite lines of sight on this map, instead of using this window right up here to uh, get a line of sight into the uh, brewery across the way there, you can actually back off right to the top of the stairs and you get a perfect line of sight into that window. And they're going to have a hard time seeing you. And even if they do, all you have to do is back off a little bit and you're completely out of the way and behind cover. Now getting into the three-story building on this map, there's actually quite a few ways into this building. To get directly into the third floor, you can use the ladder or you can use the stairs from the second floor and that'll put you in this really popular camping spot up here that gives you some pretty good lines of sight on the map. A great way to get into the second floor is actually through the window here. All you have to do is hop up on this pile of lumber and then you can just jump and mantle onto the roof and that'll get you right into the second floor catwalk here. Another option is to jump on top of this dumpster here and then just sprint jump across. And finally, this is one that's not really all that useful because you do expose yourself quite a bit, but you can get on top of this train car here and then just jump across to the roof from there. And something that a lot of people don't seem to be aware of is you can actually jump on top of these two train cars in the middle of the map. It may not be the most useful thing in most games, but there may be a situation where it'll come in handy. So it's always just good to know that you can do these sorts of things. Now over here I see a lot of people when they want to get on top of the shipping containers right here and there's enemies coming from that direction, they'll hop directly onto here and then they're up. And when you do this you're really exposed while your gun's down and you don't want that. So I prefer to come around through here, jump on top of this lumber, have a quick look, take anybody out that's right there and then I can mantle up. It does take a little bit longer but it's a much safer way to do it. Now right in the middle of the map here, there are a ton of great little lines of sight to take out guys that are in the popular spots. So if they're in that window there, you can hop up on here and look at that really nice line of sight. All you have to do is crouch to get out of the way. It's great for taking those guys out. And you can also get a nice line of sight up into the broken area of the uh, three-story building there where a lot of people like to go. And you can also do it from back here as well. So you have two options there. Now if they're way over in this window here, they're probably pretty exposed because they don't have anything covering the bottom half of their body. So a great way to take them out is just to jump on top of this keg right here and that gives you quite a bit of cover so you can take them out. You'll win that gunfight more often than not. Now moving on to this area of the map, you can actually jump right on top of these blue pallets here from the ground and then you can jump across to this railing here. It's not really a super useful spot but you may find a situation where you'll want to do that. And from inside this building here, there's actually a really nice line of sight into the uh, third story of that building across the way there. As you can see right here from the stairs, you get a really nice view into that big opening there where some people like to expose themselves. And also, if, as long as this door is open right here, you can hop up on here and look at that line of sight right there, right into the broken part of the roof where people are more likely to be if they're in the third story. Now just another way into the second story of this building that's quite a bit easier than that railing jump that I made is to jump right here and then just basically hop and mantle up. It's really simple and I use that one quite a bit. Now if you want to get to the second story of this building across to the second story of the building right across the way, all you have to do is stand on the railing and get a nice sprint jump across into the window. And you can also do this going the other way. So once you're into the second story right here, there's actually a really nice line of sight over towards the sea spawn and you don't have to expose yourself in the window like this. So all you have to do is come back here and hop on top of these green file cabinets, and you'll probably want to be using a sniper rifle for this, but you can see all the way back towards the sea spawn, and you might be able to pick somebody off through there. Now if you're on top of the shipping containers over here, and there's someone on that roof that's just sniping you like crazy, a great way to take them out is to come back right into this corner here with a sniper rifle, and there you go. You get a nice line of sight on them, and they'll only be able to see your head and a little bit of your shoulders. And most of the time if they're up there, they're focusing elsewhere. So you'll be able to take them out. Another way to get a line of sight into that window is to come up on this little ramp area. And you can sort of use this as cover and kind of head glitch over into the window. And that's a great way to take them out. Now finally, I have one more spot that I missed over in the third story building. If you're up here and somebody's taking the sea flag from you, as you can see, you can't get a line of sight onto the flag from the third story. But you can get a really nice line of sight from right up here. 
right through that little crack there. You can maybe pick somebody off if they're standing right on the flag or right next to it. So that's a great spot to defend the flag from. So that's all I have for the jumps, spots, lines of sight, as well as dynamic map elements on the map Freight. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate if you'd leave me a thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys next time.